Welcome to the module on business etiquette areas. In the previous module we have learned about what is etiquette and its areas in brief. As we learned in previous module, there are four main areas of business etiquette. Grooming, interaction with customer, meeting etiquette, social gathering. Let's learn them in detail. Let's start with the first area, which is grooming. As we learned, that grooming is the practice of taking care of one's personal appearance, hygiene, and clothing. Now we will learn how we should dress up ourselves. Suits, wear suits with a matching pant or skirt. Consider using colors like navy, charcoal gray, and black. Ties, tie should touch the buckle of the belt, but should not be shorter or longer than it. Shirts, wear cotton or cotton blend shirts. Use neutral colors with no loud colors or patterns. Skirts, skirts should be no shorter than two inches up to the knee. Trouser or pants should be worn with a waist, which is high enough to rest on the waistband over your hip. Indian formals, wear a suit with dupatta or a sari. Shoes, your shoes must be clean, polished, and comfortable. Perfume, it should be subtle and match your personality. Makeup, use neutral and subtle shades. Nails, trim your nails and paint it with neutral shades. Let's now discuss about the business casual. Business casual is a style of clothing that is less formal than traditional business wear. Business casual clothing is supposed to give a professional and business-like impression. Let's now learn about the business casual for women's. Short kurtas can be worn semi-formal shirts and blouses with jeans. You can also combine a formal wear with something casual, like a t-shirt with a blazer and denim. For casual attire, ensure that you don't wear sloppy clothes. Do not wear pants or jeans that are too tight. Also, do not wear ripped jeans to the office. Avoid wearing flip-flops or floaters. Let's now learn about the business casual for men. T-shirts can be worn with both jeans and pants. Consider wearing polo, henley, and crew neck t-shirts. If you choose to wear sneakers, please make sure that they are not muddy. Do not wear pants or jeans that are too tight for you. Also, do not wear ripped jeans to the office. Avoid wearing flip-flops or floaters. There are some additional things which you will need to keep in mind. Those are. Belts should be of the same color as your shoes and should not have bright and big buckles. Your socks should match the color of your pants. Avoid wearing bright socks to the office. Use a simple watch and make sure to turn off any electronic sounds. Today we have learned about grooming in detail, let's now go ahead and learn about the next business area which is interaction with the customer.